Hi, this is Brian from Brain District, and I'm going to demonstrate text processing in Ray Supreme. Ray Supreme combines traditional 3D modeling and rendering tools with text to 3D technology. Text to 3D allows the user to enter descriptions and actions as text that Ray Supreme processes into three dimensional objects and scenes. Text processing is done inside the language editor, a specialized component of Ray Supreme. To launch the language editor, from the application menu at the top of your screen, under View, choose Language Editor. Once in the Language Editor, we will focus on the command prompt, which is located in the lower portion of the Language Editor. Let's type in a table and press the Process Language button. The table is created in the viewport and also rendered in the Render viewport. Now we will add more to our statement. I will press Return twice to place the cursor on a new line. This isn't necessary, but makes my statements more readable for this demo. Next I'll type a dining chair, left of the table. Once again, press the process language button and our objects will be created. Now we will modify our statement just a bit. I will use backspace to eliminate the period, add a comma, and type in facing the table. Now when we press the process language button, the chair will be oriented towards the table. Next I'll add a new statement to manipulate our chair. I'll type move the chair one meter left. As usual, I'll press the process language button. Use the return key to place the cursor on a new line, and let's type a placemat on the left edge of the table, facing the chair. Once again, press the process language button, and our objects will be created. Again, we'll add on to our statement. If I use the return key to take and place the cursor on a new line, I'll type in the same chair, right of the table, facing the table. A placemat on the right edge of the table, facing the chair. Once again, we will press the Process Language button, which will create our objects. Once again, we'll add on to our statement. We'll use the Return key to take and place the cursor on a new line, and we'll type a vase in the middle of the table. The table is in the middle of a parquet floor. Once again we will take and press the process language button to create our objects. Now for one of the most exciting aspects of the text to 3D engine. We'll use the return key once again to place our cursor on a new line and we'll type in it is 1928 AD. Once again, we'll press the Process Language button to create our objects. You'll notice this time when our objects are created, the Text to 3D engine chooses objects based upon the time period we specified. We also have an aspect of the Text to 3D engine called Adjectives. If I click to insert the cursor before the word Vase, I'll add the word Small and once again click the Process Language button. We use adjectives to modify our objects. Now a small vase is created. Another feature of the Text to 3D engine is the ability to apply materials to our objects via text. If we place the cursor before the word vase, let's type in gold. To see the result, we'll press the process language button. This time you'll notice that a gold vase is created. So far, we've been naming specific details line by line to create our scene but we can handle things in a simple manner as well. I'll remove my previous text with the delete key 
and instead type a living room. Now as I press the process language button, an entire living room scene is created. This has been a quick introduction to the power of text to 3D with Ray Supreme. With Ray Supreme you can build city blocks, visualize books, see the same scene as it appears in different eras, and much more. To learn more about Ray Supreme and text to 3D, visit braindistrict.com.